Hey folks, and in this initial scene, I have blocked in some proxy geometry for the doll's house. And I'm not going to go through the scene in a lot of detail. It's a very simple model. I have modeled it against some image planes, which I have got stored on a display layer over here. And I've got the house stored on the display layer as well. I'm just gonna hide the house for a second. And now, generally speaking with the image planes, I'll want to not be able to select them after I set them up. So I'm going to reference this layer here. So now I can't select them in the viewport. I just took some quick photographs of the doll's house from the front and from the side. And I tried to get as flat on as I could to both of these views. Ideally, I would shoot the model from a little further away and I would zoom in and that would help to flatten out the perspective in the shot. Uh, so it would match more like an orthogonal view but I can definitely use these as good reference for modeling in my house. So I'm just at the early stages of it here and I'm blocking in against these two planes. Uh, the other thing that I've done that might be of interest in this file is I have created a little distance tool. I also took some quick measurements of various little parts of the house just to try and nail down the scale a little bit more just using a ruler and then in Maya I can make a distance tool and I can do that by going to create measure tool and distance tool and usually what I do is just click off in the distance and there's my distance tool just there it measures the distance between these two locators so I can grab one of the locators and I can snap it to where I need it to go by holding the V key I can grab the other locator again hold the V key and snap it to where I need to go and it will give me a measurement and you can see it's just there it's this guy uh, 5.333 centimeters okay so I can measure the distance in real life just here and then I can roughly block it in so that it's to scale now it's never going to be exact and I just need to have a kind of a good foundation to start off with the proxy geometry the last thing that I will do just in this file is when I hit four on my keyboard here, we can see the wireframe of the house and the wireframe can get very busy because I can see all of the polygons that are facing the camera and all of the ones that are facing away from the camera. Uh, to hide the polygons that are not facing the camera, I can go to display, come down to polygons and click on back face culling. And now all of the polygons that are facing away from the camera are hidden. Uh, they're not deleted, they're still there, but they're just hidden through the wireframe, and that makes it a lot easier to read. Uh, the quick way to get to that option is to hold a shift key, right click, come down to polygon display, and toggle back face. So with that set up, I will go and block in the rest of this model, and then we can move on to looking at projecting the house texture. So in this setup, we looked very quickly at how I blocked in the proxy geometry against some image planes. We looked at the distance measure tool and we looked at back face culling. In the next setup, we'll take a quick look at setting up our projection camera, setting up a projection shader, and then trying to line that camera up.